Morning and welcome back to Central Ontario. As you know, my neighbor guy is always willing to come over and help me out when I need a hand doing some chores. And uh, today we get to give back a little. We're going to head over to Guy's place and help him out on his property. So grab a coffee if you'd like and hang out with me today and let's see what we're going to do with this finish mower. Cheers. So as you know, my neighbor's got a large property beside me and, and of course he's got a lot of lawn areas as well as about 100 acres of forest. This uh, couple acres he's got here is usually mowed and it's kept nice, it's all lawn, uh, but for whatever reason hasn't had the ability or the time to get around to it and of course now the grass is overgrown. So uh, you're probably looking at it thinking, okay, bush hog, but A, I don't have a bush hog and B, this is all actually grass, it's not, you know, saplings and those kind of things or stumps or anything. So I'm going to use the old finish mower because that's what I own. Uh, what I've done is I've raised it up as high as I can uh, so I can get the full five and a quarter inches. Uh, I'm not expecting a beautiful finish cut on this lawn, at least not this time. But at least what I can do is get around it, cut it back down to a more reasonable length. And then when we cut it again, we'll get it back down to three to four inches where it would normally be and allow it to start looking nice again. So stick around with me. We're going to give the old uh, FDR 1660 a try on some pretty high... Uh, dense grass and see how she does. Cheers. I've done a few passes across the main strip of the acreage. Um, it's doing pretty good. It's knocking it down, but of course a finish mower's job is not to knock down 10 or 12 inch uh, blades of grass, but it's done pretty good, although you can see it's not a really nice clean cut yet. But I'm going to get through it, get this thing knocked down, because it seems to be operating really well. And then I think after that, a little later on another day, I'm going to come back over it now that it's at a reasonable length to trim. We can trim it up and start maintaining it a little bit nicer the way it should. All right, let's keep going.
I'm going to uh, speed this up. I'm going to take care of the rest of the property and I'll come back and finish up after we've finished it so you can take a look at how it looks. Cheers. Well, we're all finished up. Uh, hopefully this takes care of it for a bit. Uh, did a good job overall. Like I said, we had some pretty tall grass and the uh, job of a finished mower is not to knock down 10 or 12 inch grass, but did a pretty good job. I took it through once at low just to knock it down and then I, I got up to medium speed and I just did another once around just to make sure I got off anything that didn't get picked up the first time. Uh, two things I like about this rear mower. One is the ability that it floats behind you because as you can see the grounds around here they're very contoured, lots of little bumps and hills and that thing just rides all over them and keeps cutting evenly. And the second thing is that you can get it in underneath all the boughs on the trees and get the grass cut underneath the trees. So it worked out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's time to wrap it up. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If you like the channel please hit subscribe, hit the like button and if you want to know when I'm posting videos just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week, enjoy it, and we'll see you again. Cheers.